So it turns out you can't think your way into a happier life. You can't just read a book, have an epiphany, and then voila, there. I mean, we we all have just had to buy one self help book in the eighties if that were the way it was. You just buy one. There's the truth. We're done, right? What we've come to understand is that knowledge, inspiration, um, a sense of the emotional field, spiritual longing, visioning, a sense of meaning and purpose, all of that becomes ephemeral if it's not grounded in practice. If it's not grounded in the actual experience of living into the learning. So we do this uh, practice called sentence completions. You know, if my day were 3% happier, or if I were 4% more authentic, or if I lived um, 2% more gratitude each day, and then fill in the blank. What we've come to uncover is that simple sentence completions like that, when practiced on a daily basis, hit all of those elements of the spire, right? So if I were to practice that, or, or say an evening gratitude practice where I say, What's the best moment of the day? And I savor that again. Spiritually, I'm reminding myself that my day and how I shape my day is significant. It's meaningful. It's important. I matter. My days matter, which over time teaches me that my very life matters. Intellectually, I'm using my my best brain to move my neuronal connections, my neurochemistry in the direction of that which is going to sustain me. Optimism, gratitude, authenticity right? Relationally, I'm establishing a relationship with myself that is grounded in positive self-regard. Because anytime you take a practice or a ritual or reminder that leads you toward that which is healthy and sustaining, you are at the exact same time saying to yourself, I care about who I am. And I'm showing myself just a tiny bit more self-regard right now, self-respect, self-love. Emotionally, we know that these practices lift and open the heart that positive rituals create for us an emotional field in which we can feel that which is good within us and come to remember, oh my God, I do know what it's like to feel joy, contentment, curiosity, passion, compassion, etc. Physically, the act of practicing the ritual, even if it's not a physical ritual like yoga or tai chi or qigong, it embodies learning in the body right? So we're hitting all five elements of spire, which bring us to a place where we can actually experience the lived knowing of what it is like to move toward gratitude every day. Gratitude as a thought is interesting. Gratitude as a practice is transformative. 